Hi, yes, Joanne and Diana. We're outside the Central Police District Station here in Detroit for Detroit Police, and a layoff date has not been set, but the layoff notices are expected to go out in two weeks, all as the police department waits to get approval from the Department of Justice. I was laid off for five and a half years you know, from this department, so, you know, when you talk about uncertainty, obviously your, your mood is depressing, but I think they understand what we said, and I think they understand what's going on. Joe Duncan is the new head of the Detroit Police Officers Association, and today Duncan and Detroit's police chief met with some of the 108 officers slated to be laid off, but the hope is that the officers, some of the department's newest hires, won't even miss a day of work. The issue is federal grant money that right now is to be used for hiring new officers, and the police department is now trying to convince the Department of Justice to let them use that grant money to retain the 108 officers officers. So federal grant money will be paying their salaries and not the cash-strapped city of Detroit. This is a procedural thing that he has to do. Um, he feels very confident that he will be able to reconfigure the grant and have these individuals never actually leaving the job per se. My concern is, you know, the financial stability of the city as, as it stands to date. we got problems. And while the goal is that the officers getting the layoff notices don't miss any work, there are no guarantees. Reporting live in the News Center area outside Detroit Police Central District Station, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Diana, back to you. Kim, it sounds like the union is confident and that the chief and the department will be able to prevent officers from being laid off. They are confident. I was talking to uh, the head of the DPOA, the police union, the police officers union just a few moments ago, and he is confident that the chief will be able to work this out. But again, there are no guarantees, but they are confident that the chief is doing all he can. All right. Thank you, Kim. And I have more details here. A total of 108 officers are slated to receive layoff notices in two weeks. And as Kim mentioned, the actual layoff date has not been determined. It could take at least 30 days to find out if the grant money can be used.